All right, so Benny Hinn. First of all, I had a whole different video I was about to do, but um, I happened to go on TikTok, TikTok and I just seen this video of Benny Hinn. This is absolute deception at its finest. I mean, it's sick. I mean, it made my spirit just ache so bad to the point where I had to switch topics and I had to bring this video out. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Timothy, Wesley, get over here and work. Collect all those envelopes. Collect all those envelopes. Lady, sit down. Darling, sit down. Sit down. He don't want her coming up. He don't want nobody coming up when he's collecting that money. He's collecting, he's collecting paper right now. This lady's probably coming up, needs something. He don't want that. Especially when he's collecting money. That, that impulse, that manifestation will come right out of you. Like, yo, sit down. I'm collecting this paper right now. Let's continue. Don't break the anointing. Don't break the anointing. Have the lady sit down. They break the anointing when they move like that. Now. He's collecting money so that this this is a this is an an, an, an anointed time because he, he's collecting money. Bring those envelopes, please. Timothy, don't <sighs> hold the envelopes, please. Now you that already gave, you may have to give again. Take the you that already gave, you may have to give again. So what they gave wasn't enough. They may have to give again to receive a bigger blessing. This is what's going on right here. Listen, I haven't even really ever even spoke on Benny Hinn. I've seen him do different things, but this video right here, boy, keep watching. So come on. Now I'm gonna bless this seed that God will multiply it. I'm gonna bless this seed so God can multiply it. So people there think that they them giving money, they're gonna get more money back, is what he's, he's implying. Keep watching, because at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you guys something. So stretch your hands. Father, bless you. Pray in the Holy Ghost, come on. In Jesus' name, I release the anointing, Lord, right now, for multiplication. I release the anointing. Pray, pray out loud. I want to hear you. Lord. What? Uh, this is making me sick even looking at this. I'm not even joking, you guys. I'm not even joking. Multiplication. The seed they sowed, they're going to be blessed beyond measure. In Jesus' mighty name. And God's people said. Amen. Now put it on the platform, please. Now. Uh, give me the, the empty envelopes. All the empty envelopes. Look, I'm going to fast forward it because I can't. Properties will come their way in your holy name and God's people said. Amen. Now listen to me and let the Lord lead you please on the instrument. I want you to come up and I want you to, to, to give something with 120 in it. You say, why 120? It's not a gimmick. 120 is the number in the Bible for a new season. Every time there's a new season. 120, no way is in the ark. 120 trumpets. Every time they blew the trumpets, a new season came to Israel. 120 in the upper room. When they came out of the upper room, a new season on the earth. So some of you need to give $1,200. Some of you need to give $1,200. That's not even 120. Why couldn't he say $120? You say, why? Well, because if it doesn't hurt, it doesn't work. If it doesn't hurt, it doesn't work. If it doesn't hurt, it doesn't work. Now, let me show you guys something. Poor, poor people in the congregation. I'm pretty sure a lot of them went broke. Let me show you guys something. Luke 8, 11. Now, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The seed is the word of God. If you are anywhere in any church telling you that the seed is money, you need to get out of there. Now, let me show you what this means. That word seed 
in the Greek, which is its original context, in the Greek is it's the word sporos. In Hebrew, it's the word zera. Now, what does it mean? Sporos, seed, produce a harvest crop, offspring, semen, sperm. It's talking about spiritually. These people are taking God's word where it's talking about seed and turning it into money. The deception. The deception. In the word of God, our mind speaks of a womb. So if the word is the seed, when we are speaking to somebody with God's word, we are impregnating their womb with God's seed, spiritual sperm. We are impregnating their mind. And when we impregnate their mind, they become born again from above. Hallelujah. The seed is not about money. The seed is about God's DNA entering you. And you becoming a new creation. We've been lied to for far too long from these false teachers wanting your money, wanting your pockets to be empty so that they have a lavish life. Now, I'm not saying it's, it's bad to be wealthy. I'm not saying it's bad to have money. I'm not saying that at all. And as a matter of fact, in different places in the word of God, when it's talking about riches and poor people, it's talking about those who have no revelation, those who are rich and poor in the spirit. It's that they do with money. God can bless you with money all day long. But these people who have it this way is deception. Satan has infiltrated their temple. In the word of God, it says the son of perdition will sit in the temple of God, claiming to be God. And that word temple is the, is the word naos, which means spiritual temple. So a lot of these men that y'all look up to that are twisting the word of God like Satan did and taking your money and you continue to go back and back and back, sowing more and more money. Because you want money, you have a leader after your own heart. Come out of that congregation. Come out of that mindset. It is deception. He is deceiving. All these men are deceiving. They are hungry and they want money. They do not want God. They do not want you. They do not care about you nor your prayers. The same people who are selling prayer napkins, prayer oil. It's all deception. Come out of it. All these men need to repent or they will see the wrath of God. This is, this, this is evil in its highest form. They're spiritually killing these people. This is sick. The seed is not money, ladies and gentlemen. The seed is the word of God. Hallelujah. These men have no milk. These men have no meat. They read the word of God by the letter with no spiritual interpretation. 2 Peter 3.16 says those who are not taught correctly learn the word to their destruction. And they are teaching you a different seed. Jesus said many will come to him and he will say, I never knew you. That word knew is gnosko. It's talking about uh, intercourse, spiritually. So what does that mean? If the Lord said, I never knew you, and that word is gnosko, which is a Jewish idiom for intercourse, and Luke 8, 11 says the seed is the word, that word seed is poros, which is talking about sperm, then that means the Lord is saying, you've never been impregnated with my word, with my true word. You've been impregnated by these false teachers, which is why it's so important to pay attention to who you get taught by. Because if you are getting false seed, which is spiritual semen, then you are getting impregnated with the false Jesus, which means you are committing spiritual adultery. We've been getting lied to far too long and it's time the children wake up. It's time for the real children of God to rise and bring light to these situations. This is evil. This is mockery. This is deception.
This is disgusting. But we do not fight with flesh and blood. So I'm not mad at Benny Hinn personally. I'm upset with his actions for sure. I'm upset with what he came into agreement with for sure. But I even pray he repents. Because if he continues on that path, he will be in the lake. He needs to give all that money back. That is wicked. Wicked. I pray you guys got a message out of this. Because I switched up my whole topic just to talk about that because it made me so sick to my soul. And those who, who want to defend somebody like this, may God's mercy be upon you. In the word of God, it says, just because you call them fathers make you guilty. Just because you associate with them as your fathers makes you guilty. This is disgusting. And I, and, I, and, I, and I talk about this and I, and I talk like this and I, I speak about it, man, because I truly love people in a different way now that I came to the Lord. You know, I don't just look at people just because they're people, but I look at them as souls. And seeing stuff like this, I, I know that they're being spiritually killed. Many want the Lord, but many end up going to places where the Lord is not. A lot of these people, a lot of these places have been infiltrated by Satan. That was an evil video, you guys. Maybe many of you might not realize how evil it is, you know, but when you dive into the spirit that deep and you see something like that, it's really going to make you sick. Bring them out of deception, Father. Love you guys. God bless. Shalom.